Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again for a look at the weather. And boy, this was really a nice day today. Lots of sunshine. You know what? It's going to continue. We're looking at temperatures that could be in the low to mid 70s this weekend. We'll tell you more about that good news in just a little bit. Bad news was what happened to June, Judy Kreider. She was uh, involved in a blizzard on the highway, the Denali Highway. This is what it looked like, and this was last week, and we know what that was like. But the good news is no more snow to worry about. If you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to Mike Schultz at KTVF11.com. Right now at the airport, 61 degrees after a high of 63. The low last night, 29. Record high, 82 in 2002. Record low, 25, 1964. Sunrise this morning was at 4.07, and the sun sets this evening at 11.33, giving us 19 hours and 25 minutes of daylight, a gain of 7 minutes from yesterday. Our satellite picture once again showing the high pressure area really protecting all the clouds from moving in on the Fairbanks area. Mostly high clouds for the most part. There's no real organized system, but again, high pressure really dominating the overall weather for most of the state. As you can see here, temperatures warming back up again over southeast Alaska, 66 degrees at Ketchikan. A little chilly around Kodiak, 48 degrees there. Also 48 at Cold Bay. Raining at Nome, 36 degrees. And some mixed rain and snow shower activity up to Barrow, 38 degrees. Nice day at Fort Yukon, 57 degrees. Lower 48 weather, a lot better news to pass along today. There were thunderstorms, but not as bad as they were yesterday. No reports of any tornadoes yet. That's good news. We have rain over the Pacific Northwest on the satellite and radar. You can see, uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. What happened across the lower 48 today was there were severe thunderstorms, but nothing near the, uh, the tenacity that was yesterday. It was incredible on the satellite and radar. Uh, well, I guess we'll talk about that later on. <laughs> on our, our overall late week forecast, as you can see, the jet stream once again will be remaining way to the north, allowing a lot of humidity and warm temperatures and very nice weather out to the west to uh, continue. There's our satellite and radar. I knew it was there. And the thunderstorms that were there yesterday over Oklahoma moving off to the east, that's good news. More rain across the Pacific Northwest and some activity across the Great Lakes too. All right, back to Alaska for tomorrow. For the northern sections, flurries at Barrel, rain in Nome. Fort Yukon will see lots of sunshine. Here in the interior, we're looking at some very nice weather. In fact, mostly sunny for Fairbanks, decreasing clouds in Healy. Over southeast Alaska, not too bad. Sunny skies at Juneau, just a few clouds in there for Ketchikan. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Over to the southwest, looks like rain showers for Cold Bay and rainy conditions expected at Bethel and Kodiak. So that's the worst weather in the state. Over the south central regions, it looks like clouds for Anchorage and Homer. More sunshine in Valdez. Okay, time to look at our fallen recount uh, for today. The folks at the Tanah Valley Clinic still say the trees are medium levels. Mold is working its way up toward the medium levels. Weeds and grass are still low levels. Here's your forecast for tonight. 32 degrees, freezing, warmer with mostly clear skies. Tomorrow's forecast calling for 60. Another day with lots of sunshine and even warmer temperatures on the five-day outlook. 70 by Friday and temperatures warming to the mid to upper 70s by Sunday and Monday into a Memorial Day. Overnight lows also warming up to the 40-degree mark, even 45 degrees. And things are looking a lot better, as I said last night. For once, it's not a false alarm. I think we're actually going to see spring.